Welcome to part two of two in the installation of Joomla 1.5.15. Uh, in part one of the video, we have uploaded the zip file for the Joomla 1.5.15 application uh, file uh, into our cPanel using the file manager, and we have inflated the files. And previously, we had created a database and a user that is going to house of the content for this application. Now the next step you'll need to do, and this is important, is in your browser you will want to type http colon forward slash forward slash www.yourdomain.com forward slash sandbox forward slash installation. Now the structure of the URL consists of your domain forward slash the folder where you have uploaded the Joomla files and then forward slash installation which is the installation file uh, that or the installation folder that uh, stands or is in your directory or in your folder. Um, so the next thing you want to do is you will be presented with this particular screen here is uh, choose your language first uh, the next thing you want to do is click on next and you will be presented uh, with a pre-installation check now some things may say no here um, and some of them are actually not that important such as your configuration that PHP file which we can fix that later on but in general you want to make sure that all of the recommended settings down here um, are all of them state off um, and all of the recommended ones uh, actually say off as well so if all of this looks good on step 2 pre-installation check uh, you want to click on next uh, you have your GNU uh, general public license you'll want to review that and click on next now here is where we will enter our MySQL database um, credentials and under database type you want to make sure that you have MySQL uh, for host name you can always use localhost here the username is the username for the database that we created and then the password and the database name which is uh, sensefm underscore sandbox and under the advanced settings you shouldn't need to check anything uh, if you want the prefix um, that's going to be installed in all the tables in the SQL database uh, to be something different than what you have here, you can change it, although this is not needed. So the next thing you want to do is click on Next. Um, you do not want to enable FTP because it does slow down uh, processing. So we want to make sure that is checked as no click on next now on this page what you want to do is give your website a name and we're going to call ours uh, Joomla 1.5.15 test site your email uh, I would put an email address here that um, you can be contacted at so we're going to type in info at ivantemelkov.com and your password now keep in mind this is a password you will need to remember now here for the sake of this installation we're going to go ahead and install uh, the sample sample data uh, just so that we can see some data in our newly created installation and you're going to do that by clicking on the install sample data button uh, sample data installed successfully and go ahead and proceed by clicking the next button and now we're at step 7. Uh, please remember to completely remove the installation directory. We'll not be able to proceed beyond this point until the installation directory has been removed. This is a security feature of Joomla. 
So now here, what we'll need to do is you will need to copy the PHP code uh, that is in this box, and you're going to have to create a configuration.php file and upload it into the main root of the folder uh, where we we have uploaded our Joomla files. And what you'll need to do is uh, get an FTP account from your hosting company and FTP to your server and upload this file. Okay, so now what we have done is created a configuration.php file using Notepad and we have copied this PHP code into that file and uploaded it into our Joomla directory on our web server and we have also completely removed the installation folder uh, that came with the Joomla package so at this point the next thing we want to do is either go to the administration uh, part or back end of our newly created Joomla website or the front end which is the site so we want to go ahead and click on site and voila, uh, we have a fresh installation of Joomla 1.5.15 installed on our web server. Um, I do offer a lot of uh, services for Joomla, so if you're looking for more tutorials or services for Joomla, you can visit my blog at www.ivantemelkov.com. That's I V A N. T E M E L K O V dot com, and I will be back shortly with more videos.